Hello, today I've got a great video for you. For you. It's a part one using 120 millimeter class fans and the slot size and distance away from the fan blade affect your PC fans performance. Well, the short answer is yes, but how much does it? Let's take a look at the data. Okay, a little bit about the test setup. So I know my diagram is not the best, but it gets the point across. All sides around the fan were blocked with only a variable size gap for the air to flow in. I also adjusted the distance away from the fan of the fan away from it in one centimeter increments. From I didn't from zero, one, two, three, four centimeters, and the slot size, which would be on the diagrams in a little bit. And this diagram also illustrates how air would flow into the fan. So if you've got a narrow opening the air has to spread out more to be able to be fully utilized by the fan. While when you have a larger gap, it, there's more of a streamlined process and the air has an easier time flowing out. So that means if this gap is too close to the fan blades, there isn't enough space for the fans, for the air to spread out and there's going to be more of a vacuum inside here than there will be if it's further out or a wider opening. All right, so this is the basic setup. You can see I've got little markers on there and I just slide the cardboard back based on those distances. And then I use tape to block off the edges and I do tape around the edge so no air can seep in so that we can test how gap uh, or the distance away from like the object the fan is, how it performs differences. Okay, we're doing the different slot sizes. This is just to the experiment. There are going to be a bunch of different uh, levels to it. There are going to be, there are markings on it. Can't really see it because it's in place. See the little black dot? <clears throat> so this is the furthest extent. And we're going to have different slot sizes that are put in. The fan is running. So that we'll have the different distances. All sides are closed off. Uh, obviously not a perfect seal, but then again, no case would actually be a perfect seal, so it should be a good test. And the different slots is to see how it affects the airflow. Now we are on to the data. So, zero centimeters, so that's CM, from the slot panel. So that is a slot panel directly on top of the fan. We have 2 by 10 centimeters, 4 by 10 centimeters, 6 by 10 centimeters, and 8 by 10 centimeters as well as a no restrictions. So the no restrictions would be the fan allowed to just breathe as as best as it can in an open air environment. Then we have RPMs 500, 1000, 1500, 2000. Doesn't get to 2500, but you get the point. Well, the smallest slot size right up against obviously the worst performance, significantly worse. By the time we hit 2 by 4 it looks like around a third the performance of no restrictions. Six by ten up against it's about half the performance, and eight by ten is three quarters of performance. You know, eyeballing it. And what's interesting is at lower lower RPMs there is less of a difference. It's only as we start increasing speed, and that is because at lower RPMs the air is moving slower, and there's more time for it to. Even, even that narrow space to fill in those gaps to fully utilize the fan a little bit more. One centimeter data. So I added one more. Uh, no slots blocked sides. So, so this is I blocked off the sides around the fan with the distance markings so that it could technically breathe evenly but it can't suck in air directly from the sides just to see if, what kind of performance information we got. And it lined up almost perfectly with 8 by 10, uh, the larger slot size. And the positioning of each of the uh, data points lines up more or less where we'd expect it to be. So that larger slot size is better. So that means uh, more space for that fan to breathe, <laughs> which, you know, it makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, two centimeters away. So again, increasing that spacing. You can see that the six centimeter is nearly identical to the eight centimeter now. Whoops, I have a little bit of typo there. Eight X four ten. That should be eight by ten. Uh, while the one by ten, it's gaining performance. It's it's closing the gap. It's 
looks very similar to how uh, no centimeters was for like the six by 10. And then three centimeters, you know, it's coming up and four centimeters, you know, closing that performance gap. The four by 10 is starting to nip at the ankles of the uh, larger slot sizes here too. So these last three, four charts, what are we actually getting out of it? That means no matter the slot size, having enough panel distance between the fan, front of the fans and the front panel is in many ways just as important as the size of the slot, so the amount of air that can get into it by itself. So that was the point of this test, is to demonstrate that. Let's go on to how the slot sizes in particular uh, vary based on fixed distances. Okay, so now we have a fixed slot size, so the 2x10, and we're varying the distance. So those are the different colors, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So at no distance, piss poor performance, you don't want that, period, end of story. Do whatever you can to get yourself any amount of distance, because just bumping it up to 1 centimeter greatly improves performance. Mind it's nowhere near, no restriction performance, but that is significantly better. And if you're not needing to run your fans at high RPM, so your case is well ventilated, whatever, there isn't that much performance difference. We'll get into it, the proportional proportionality in a second or two. But there is a limit to the spacing out and how much performance you get. So by three and four centimeters, we've hit that limit. Uh, I saw very little meaningful distance or difference between those two values at any RPM. So that means that even if you were to have a much larger spacing, even with that narrow gap, there's only so much air that can be pushed through it at once, despite air being a compressible fluid. Uh, so there are, there are limits to what you're going to achieve with it. Now the 4x10 slot, again, same sort of thing going on, so at no spacing, absolutely terrible performance. This has much narrower gaps, or gaps between the performance lines meaning they lie closer together so that there's proportional less difference in the performance you get by spreading it out past one centimeter, but there's performance still to be had. So uh, interestingly, the three and the four centimeters, so this is where the accuracy of my anemometer, they're within like 0.1 meter per second. So multiply that by CFM, that makes everything look a little bit more spread out than it actually is. So very, very similar performance data. Um, let's move on, the 6x10. Again, everything is even more compressed. So just adding a little bit of space with that larger slot size, you see less difference in performance, but the trend is always the same. And by the 8x10, um, even right up against it, kind of does okay. My noise probably would be pretty bad from the air rushing past it, but, you know, the performance, you know, it's, it's right there. It, sh it shows you that giving it room to breathe, especially in a restricted case, uh, really makes a big difference in terms of how much performance you're going to get out of that fan. So this is something of interest if you want to modify a case or you're thinking about building your own case for whatever reason. And here is the raw data. And you get a sneak peek for the 140 millimeter results. That's going to be in tomorrow's video because I didn't want the video to get too long. So I only recorded results on here if it exceeded 80% of the original fan's values. So that's unrestricted airflow. So the 2 by 10 only achieved 80% at 3 centimeters at 50%, but as RPM increases, it just could not maintain that and same with at 4%. Now, it might be close to 80%, but it did not cross my calculated threshold for what my requirements were. So a very tight restricted case is going to be a no-go no matter what. Four by 10, one centimeter at lower RPMs, but as we approach 100, it's not quite meeting my requirement. Mine, 80% did kind of okay. Two centimeters. We're seeing the same kind of trend. It's starting to catch up. Three centimeters, it's finally meeting everything. Same with four. 
six by 10, not meeting my requirement at zero centimeters, but every single RPM 50 and higher meets that requirement and same, so on and so forth. And only the eight by 10 centimeter uh, opening basically met the requirements at every single RPM except 100% at zero centimeters. So kind of like what I've already iterated before, that that slot size as well as distance away from the fan, both are two key factors in in picking out a good case as well as being incorporated into good case design. And last but not least, here is the raw data uh, that I collected doing this test. So do 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 here it is. This experiment was kind of fun. It was very time consuming because I don't have a 3D printer. So I had these, like you saw the cardboard slots and I slid them into place, had tape and I taped off uh, around it. So it was very interesting to see. Um, if you got ideas for other experiments you'd like me to do that are simple like this, that are doable for me, uh, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to, you know, give it a go and see what kind of information, data, data, data I can collect for all of you. Um, it was fun. It was interesting. Uh, I don't know. If you like this kind of content, let me know. If you don't like this kind of content, let me know. If you have ways that I can improve this content, let me know. Um, if you like the idea of my channel, please think about joining me as a YouTube member or becoming a Patreon. But hitting, hitting that subscribe button always goes a long way with helping me and this channel. Anyways, thank you very much for watching Computer Tech and More. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time with the 140mm class fans.